Welcome to the video series, How to Build Your Food Truck. In today's video, we're gonna be finishing the plumbing, or more specifically, the drains from your fresh water tank and your gray water tank, as they call it, the wastewater, down into the bottom, so we could find out how to get rid of that stuff. So right now, it's empty, as you guys can see it. There's nothing there, just a bunch of snow right here. So let me show you guys how we're gonna do that step by step. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been a fellow subscriber, Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the feedback. Thank you for the watch time. Always appreciate it. Um, please press subscribe, share. If you know somebody that wants to get into the food truck business or if you want to just implement some of these steps on how to build your new food truck, then follow along because we've taken an empty trailer and we're converting it into a full mobile kitchen on wheels, which is this one right here. And then we're going to sell it. Man, we are past the halfway point, almost to the three quarter point. We're done with this trailer. And uh, you guys have asked for a few follow-up videos. We're going to do an electrical one uh, because uh, maybe I didn't cover it exactly how you guys wanted it. So I'm going to do my best to recap that for you. But for now, let's do the plumbing and the drains. In today's video, besides looking at the snow and the little rabbit feet that are right there, we're going to be looking at the drains on your new food truck and how are you supposed to get the water out from your fresh water tank and your gray water tank. So this is how I have it on my current food truck right here. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to set this up. These are really cool on here as well. Oh, if you guys can see right up there, how far can I go? You guys can see it. There it is right there. The little levers right there are like a gate valve that open up to open the flow. And then you can put the hose right here to dump out your gray water tank as they call it your waste tank and there's another one right over there so this is how i have my drain set up on my food truck so let's go do it to the new one and just so you guys can see how the inside looks that's how it looks right there so those are the two drains that go into the two tanks the fresh water and the waste water that we have all right, so on the fresh water tank, there is one more, I guess you can call it hole, that we need to fill there. It's an inch and a half. It's on the fresh water tank on the top right. And that's gonna be used to fill your water tank. And to fill your water tank, you need this little bad boy that they give you at Class A Customs. It goes from inch and a quarter to an inch and a half. And this part right there is supposedly made to fit inside there. But I'm telling you, it's is hard to do i don't know why they can't just make it easy on us as you see there i try to file it down do everything i can to make it fit in there but i was unsuccessful right in there in that hose this is called a flex oust pvc food grade so this is a food grade hose that they give you from class a customs so what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually cut this piece off right here these ribs i'm going to cut them off because they do give you a clamp this is nsf rated so I'm gonna use this part right here is about an inch. So I'm gonna use that part right there to clamp this together. That way this holds on there. And then this part goes onto your trailer on the outside to fill the tank. And that's gonna go right in there. And then we're gonna clamp that. And that's how that works to fill your fresh water tank. So you all can have that visual I was talking about. This right here is that last hole that's left, the inch and a half that we're gonna be using that's the fill side of the fresh water tank. The fresh water tank is the smaller side. That's the one, the pipe that goes to the water pump. And this one over here is the wastewater or the gray water as they call it. Over here, you have two half inchers that are right there. Those are gonna be used for vents. So that's what they give you at Class A Customs. And then they give you this vent pipe right here. It's NSF rated. You guys can see there. Make sure that the hoses you use, come on, zoom in. There it is, it's NSF rated, the vent hose right here. And as well as drinking water system compliance. It has the same thing with the other, the fill tank hose. It has to be uh, food grade. Make sure you get it from Class A Customs. It'll make your job a lot easier. And that's gonna get connected. The two vent hoses, this one and this one. And then this is gonna be that fill tank, the one we were just messing with right now. And just like I mentioned right now, we're gonna cut this ribbed part off. We're gonna use a sawzall to cut this piece off right here. That way that hose fits nice and snug in there. And then these are the clamps that they give you. They fit right over here. And then you're able to clamp that on. And that's how we're gonna to get to be secured 
onto that uh, part that we're just gonna cut off right there. These little clamp things right here. This was a little tough sucker to get on there, but we got it. Look at that nice and uh, clean connection right on there. And then we're gonna use this to go right on there. But this part is gonna go onto this part of the one inch and a half hole that we have on the freshwater tank. So that's where it's gonna go. We're just gonna put some of that uh, sealant tape right there. And then we're gonna put that right in. Okay, just so we come back and get a good visual. So from the freshwater tank to where the dump side is gonna be that goes to the outside, I just wanna measure that. That way I have that measurement to go outside to my other truck. Seven inches, you guys can see that on the tape measure, to the center. So it's gonna be seven inches, and the other one's exactly the same, but on that side, but it's seven inches from there to the center. So now that we have that reference point, what we're gonna do is come back to this tank and from here to there, we're gonna drill a little pilot hole. And then from there, we're gonna go outside and make sure that is where we need it to be. So seven inches is gonna be right around there. A little pilot hole to the outside. And then we're gonna go check it out. So we take our drill. My Milwaukee drills, my preference is. And then we're gonna go right around seven inches. From the center to the center right there. And I'll drill straight down. Now look at that, it just needed a little, it just wanted me to get off video so you could do it. But we went through the same hole, we went through. So let's go see where it's at outside. Had to grab a little piece of cardboard because this snow your knees really wet all right so now let's see okay as you guys can see there it might be a little bit different from my truck my trailer this beam we, we hit the beam right here that steel beam so i don't want to cut into that structure of that beam so what we're going to do is go back so we could just get that plywood so we're just going to be right here that's ultimately where you want to be is you don't want to mess with the trailer so we're not going to cut that metal at all we're just going to go move back a little bit and since we're measuring let's see how far it is to the other side right there that's about half to there eight and a half inches let's make sure that we're not going to be on any type of metal again so eight and a half from the one where we just drilled towards the front of the trailer all righty so there's a hole that we cut right there that we drilled eight and a half from there towards the front of the trailer is going to hit there's like a little piece of metal, if you guys can see that darker spot right there, which kind of stinks, but we might have to cut that at least three quarter inches to get it because there's really no other way to be able to get that drain hole. Oh, there you can see a little bit better. So from here to that spot is eight and a half, and we're gonna come back. So we're on this plywood right here. All right, I went on a mission, and now I know why I don't have these two pieces right here. For the other food truck is called a gate valve by Valterra. It's an inch and a half MPT slip. That's what they call it. So it must be male threads on this side and then the slip part over here because it's an inch and a half slip for the PVC. They do not even have these on Amazon right now. They're on back order. So I had to find them at some other random place. I just googled uh, one and a half inch Valterra gate valve and then these things right here those i had to order from somewhere else as well because amazon did not have them in stock 90 degree drain connector gray water so that's going to get connected right here and it has a uh, the output is a three quarter gray so you can put a three quarter inch hose on there to dump your tank a three quarter inch hose goes on the end right there so that's what these are and they do have them on amazon because that's where i first found them but this one was at another random place as well so google it if you can't find that on amazon i cannot really help you on where to find it just that's the name gray water 90 degree drain connector by valterra and that's this one and this one these will be in sometime this week i literally just ordered them right now so they'll be in 20 dollars each and that include the shipping it was $8 for shipping, 
So 16, 16, 32, and then $8 of shipping, just so you guys know on these two parts. So we're gonna run the rest, we just can't connect this part. Alrighty, now that we have our two pilot holes drilled, one of them's right there, which is in the same direction as that one, and the other one is right here. You guys can see it. I went out and I purchased four more of these vent 90 degree elbows, the little short ones. That way we can put them right there. And I also purchased this to make it super easy to cut is a hole saw with the arbor two and a quarter inch. That way we get a really nice circle cut right in our plywood. It's the same diameter as this part of the bottom lip of the PVC fitting. That way it fits nice and snug right in there. And then we're able to drain the two tanks if needed. So one's gonna be right there and the other one right over there. So what we're gonna do here on our Milwaukee drill, we're gonna loosen up our drill bit right in the front. Take that off, open up the jaws of life right in the front right there. And I would have done it with the drill, but obviously I'm holding the phone on the other side. And then we're gonna put this right in there. And then that'll be how we drill our hole with the hole saw right there. I like using the hole saw uh, because it's gonna make a really, really nice, clean circle cut and no jagged edges. So that is how we cut the hole for the two drains that go right there. They like to the outside and that's how we drill the hole and then you see how nice and clean that is that way this fits right in there perfectly and that's how we cut the hole there for the drains and then we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side and just so you can see the fit for the two and a quarter inch hole saw no movement so it's really really nice and snug of a fit there and that fits now we get a little bit of a drain like a downhill right there so two and a quarter fits perfect and then we clean out the the inside of the hole. So I'll tell you guys this, last year, for me to drill that one right there and not be nervous, it took a lot. <laughs> but uh, since I already did it once, uh, when I do it the second time that I just showed you guys right here, it's it doesn't bother me as much as the first time just because I've done it already. So if, like, as long as you do that little pilot hole and you see the outside, make sure you're clear, you should be a-okay to drill as long as you're not hitting like a structure, like a like a steel beam on there. That's why I like using the same brand of trailer because I kind of know them already. So it's Cargo Mate Trailblazer trailer is what I have here. <laughs> and the second one, the drill was literally smoking, smoking hot because we had, if you guys can see right there, there's a little bit of metal that we had to just cut on the on the side right there to be able to make it fit to align with the drain right there so we had to kind of just shave a little bit of the metal right there it's not a lot so there should be no impact to the structure of the trailer so with that that's how we cut the second hole and the first hole let's see if the uh, piece of pvc will fit right there all right let's see if it fits i've never tried it on here it's my first time and there it is exactly how we need it nice and snug no play on the hole there so two inch and a quarter hole saw works perfectly for that and just make sure that if you have to cut the metal that you get the proper hole saw to do that oh this thing is hot still oh roasting right there so what we're gonna do now is just measure how much of a piece of a pvc we're gonna need here inch and a half inch pvc it's gonna be right there to about right there three and a half inches so that's how big we're gonna need the piece of PVC three and a half inches so let's cut that and then we can glue that in place and again we're still using that 10 foot stick that we originally bought to do all the plumbing on the drains right there it's still the same stick so that's why I bought a 10 footer that way we are able to do everything that we need for the drains or the sewer as you want to call it but that way it's one stop shop 
Again, just like on the other spot, we just gotta clean the furs out right inside of the PVC. And that way it has a nice, clean interior and the drain is nice and clean. Got a little bit of fuzzy right there. There you go, just like that. And then we're gonna take it and we're gonna dry fit it just like the other sides. You always wanna make sure that you dry fit. Dry fit means that you're just gonna try on the pieces without gluing it together. That way you kind of have an idea if it's gonna work or not. So there it is right there. So there's our dry fit. Now we're just gonna glue it together and that looks nice to me. We're gonna keep using that same PVC one step, single step PVC cement. We're gonna open that up right there. Get down in there, see if we can get it. There we go, and then we're gonna take our cement, put it around our PVC, just like that. Single step, so it's just one time. There it is right there. Wait for it to dry. And then we're gonna take it and insert it into the tank. All right, now we gotta be quick on this one. Let's do the same thing. We're gonna put some glue on this PVC. And then we're gonna stack it right in there. Just as so. And then, there you go. There's your connection that goes down. And then we're gonna connect it from the bottom of the trailer right there. And there you go. That's how we connect it on uh, the gray, the fresh water tank to have the drain down. We're gonna do, it, do the exact same thing on the gray water or the waste water right in the back. So there we go. That's how the inside is gonna look. We have both drains with the vent elbows, the little short elbows going down. And so now we're gonna go outside in the bottom of the trailer and hook up exactly how we had on the previous video that I showed you on how I have on my food truck with the Valterra um, drain valves. But since we don't have that Valterra drain valve, we're just gonna leave the 90s stubbed out. But that's how they both look right there. Just so you have everything step by step how I've been doing it, I put a little strap on here just because it was a little bit, I guess the word wiggly. It wasn't fitting nice and snug in that hole. It was coming out, off and on, off and on. So I wanted to make sure that permanently it didn't move. So I put that little strap in there, a galvanized strap. It comes in this 25 foot roll like that. There's the name, galvanized hanger strap. All right, you guys get the first look at the bottom of the trailer and how it looks. That's how we cut the hole with the hole saw. Nice and clean circle hole right there for the pvc there's a two one and a half inch this is where i told you guys where we cut the metal just a little bit and then we're going to come right down 90 and then 90 right outside to the valves that are going to go right in here so i have my two pieces now cut that are going to get attached to that facing the bottom of the trailer the measurement for me that i used was seven and a half inches heavy so about seven and five eighths. Depending on your trailer, it's gonna change, but that's the concept. And from here, this is gonna go to the gate valve. We're not gonna cut that yet until the gate valve shows up, but this is everything that you need to do to drain your fresh water tank and your gray water tank to meet health codes, at least for me in DuPage County. They said it was A-OK, -okay. they passed it, and they said they had zero issues with the setup. So that's how I set up my drains for my two tanks right there. There you go. That's part of the look on how it's going to look coming out of the trailer. There's my little carton that I just made. <laughs> and there you go. Let's go see underneath now. Okay, so that's how your final product is going to look. Not exactly final, final, but very, very close. This piece right here is just put in there temporarily. It is going to get cut right around here to put that uh, valve, the gate valve, the Valterra gate valve. Uh, we don't have it yet, I had to order it yesterday. So this is how it's gonna look. This is exiting out from the tanks right there. If you wanna put some silicone or some caulking right up there, you can, but that's how it's gonna look. And that's how you drain your two tanks to 
uh, be able to meet health inspection codes or else that's what they require for me in DuPage County Health Department in the state of Illinois. And uh, just check with yours and make sure that everything looks good for them. But with that, Frank Baltieris with the drains and the fresh water and the gray water tanks complete.